Hey everybody and welcome back to MTG Killer Bees. It is pre-release weekend for Ravnica Allegiance. So let's open a box here. Why not? And I pre-ordered this one so we got the pre-order card or the buy a box promo. The Haunt of Hightower is a 3-3 legendary vampire for two black and four. Flying lifelink, whenever the Haunt of Hightower attacks, defending player discards a card. Whenever a card is put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere, put a 1-1 counter on the Haunt of Hightower. So, borderline playable. It won't be, at least it won't be like that, uh, I think the M19 one that everybody wanted. about uncommons in this set? Is there anything good? Probably not. Uh, but we can go through. Shark to crab. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Clamor shaman, rumbling run. Hey, mythic right off the bat. Mesmerizing benthid. Hmm. Goblin. Okay, what an answer. Hey. More guild gates. So I think there's a guild gate in every pack. I'm assuming so, just like with the last rabbit hole we opened. Which was nuts. We got all five of the uh, shock, lands. shock lands. Yeah. Yep, fix that for me. Thank you. Uh, drill bit, pitiless pontiff, and bankrupt in blood. And Tesa Karlov. Is our rare. Mm. One of the legendary creatures. And we have an emblem for Domri. <laughs> so we're already on track to be just like the last box where we got both the emblems and neither of the people. Domri is one of the more expensive cards in the set. Those suck nose. Uh, precognitive perception. Mm -hmm. I kind of I like the addendum mechanic, but I'm not sure they used it well enough. I just thought that was interesting. He's got a sword. Hmm. Zombie with a sword. Uh, gutter bones. Gutter bones. There are some interesting tokens in this one. Hmm. That's weird. Frog lizard token. <laughs> and a foil skewer the critics. Ooh, skewer the critics is really good for uh, limited play in this set. So if you're doing a draft or sealed skewer the critics, you should take it. Hey, second mythic. Ravager Worm. Hmm. It's so Riot. When it enters the battlefield, choose up to one. It fights target creature you don't control or destroy target land with an active ability that isn't a mana ability. Here is. Tith Taker? Tith Taker. Tith. Whatever that stupid religious word is. Nikia of the Old Ways. Mm hmm. You can't cast non-creature spells. Whenever you tap a land for mana, add one mana of any type that land produced. Hmm, okay. So that could be good in a big stompy creature deck. You get double your mana, but you can't cast non-creatures. Deputy of Detention. Ooh, this is really good. It's basically a detention sphere attached to a creature. Uh, Guardian Project. Plaza of Harmony. Ooh, a rare land. Enters the battlefield. If you control two or more gates, you gain three life. Add one man of any type that a gate you control could produce. So, I think they run really hard on gates in this set. Uh, I think gate decks are going to be a thing. Thopter token got a make over there. And absorb. Hmm, new counterspell. 
and a foil X Bane Beast. Just the common. <laughs> Three, four for four. You suck. I demand an enter the battlefield trigger out of my creatures. I just think the artwork is crazy on this. Arrow Monculus. Hmm. Select cards again. Lumbering Battlement. Ooh, I actually like this thing. So it's a 4-5 Vigilance. When it enters the battlefield, exile any number of other non-token creatures you control until this leaves the battlefield. And then this gets plus 2, plus 2 for each card exiled with it. So basically, the idea is you're piling up a bunch of little dudes on top of this guy to make him huge. And a foil uncommon, Angelic Exaltation. Hmm. I like the flavor text. <laughs> they could have gone the uh, Hobbit route. If we cannot have peace, we will have war. You didn't like that movie. No, because it sucks. Yeah, Battle it of the Five bad. Armies See, that, sucks. That was bad. I'll, I'll That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Uh, thrash or Threat? Just on a side note, fuck you, Battle of the Five Armies. You're terrible. You're, like, bored to hell, and then, like, a cartoon dwarf shows up. Stupid love triangle. And then, yeah. She, even she was pissed about because she didn't want to do it. A lady elf falls in love with dwarf. Come on. Awaken the erstwhile, ooh, with some very Lord of the Ring-looking ghost soldiers on there. Hmm. That's interesting. Too bad it's symmetrical. I mean, it gives your opponents some zombies, too. And Bedeck or Bedazzle? <laughs> Rakdos. So is Rakdos supposed to be like a circus in this set or something? Because they're all about, like, showmanship and their keyword is spectacle. I don't know what's going on with them. Hey! Ooh. Got the shrine. It's one of the shocks. The Orzhov one. Cinder vines. Hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Red and green for whenever an opponent casts a non-creature spell, it deals one damage to that player. And you can sacrifice it to destroy target artifact or enchantment, and it deals two damage to that permanent controller. That's not bad for a That's green two. and a red. Yeah. God, smothering. Smothering tithe. Apparently there's some, uh, I guess the Orzov are religious, because the flavor text is an Orzov priest. And that, yeah, that's the second tithe one we've pulled out. Just from rares. Oops. That's actually really good. I'm, ju I'm just reading it now. Here, oh, okay. Just one second. Okay. Whenever an opponent draws a card, that player may pay two. If they don't, you create a treasure artifact token with sacrifice this and add one man of any color. I'll show the foil first. This is a crappy comment. Senate Courier. With an owl, like in Harry Potter. Whoops. And Hero of Precinct 1 is the rare. Hmm. Oh, good. More fodder for humans decks. Yeah. Although humans tend to be mono white so maybe that won't affect them as much hopefully because i hate human sticks hey stomping ground <laughs> all right second of the shock lands three more to go <laughs> hallowed fountain <laughs> all right so we're at three Three down, two to go. Oh, no, not another one. Incubation Druid. Hmm. Oh, great risky. So it's a mana dork that if you have adapted it, it produces three mana instead of one. Three 
repudiate or replicate. Hmm. I always like the counter target activator triggered abilities. You can usually find a good use for those. Oh, you're activating your Planeswalker's ultimate? No, 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 counter that. <laughs> oh, but the counters, you, you still have to remove the loyalty counters. Because F you, that's why. Yeah. Pestilent Spirit. Okay. Menace Death Touch. Instant and Sorcery Spells you control have Death Touch. Okay. That's pretty awesome. Giving Instance and Sorceries Death Touch. Uh, we have another Domri Emblem. And a Foil Rare Tomb of the Guild Pact. Tome. Tome of the Guild Pact. That's actually a, a decent card out of the set. I wonder if the foil is going for anything. Whenever you cast a multicolored spell, draw a card, and most of the cards in this set are multicolored, yeah. so. Or maybe not most, but a lot. <laughs> There's the regular <laughs> one. All right. Is this a repack? <laughs> we are getting doubles in the commons. And the uncommons. Well, commons, you expect. Yeah, multiples but of everyone. There was also some of the uncommons too, which was. Yeah. Ooh, another f mythic here. Biogenic ooze. Okay. So it costs five. Winners of the battlefield created two, two ooze at the beginning of your end step. Put a one one counter on each ooze you control. You can pay four to create an ooze. And a foil common, Watchful Giant, which creates fucking human tokens when it comes in. Mm hmm. Hmm. Costs a lot, though. Yeah. Okay. Unbreakable Formation. Mm hmm. If you cast a spell during your main phase, we'll encounter each of those creatures in the game. Okay. So this is like two different cards in one, really. If somebody's going to destroy all your creatures, you can play it as an instant and give them all indestructible. Or you can play it before your attack step and give them all indestructible, plus one one counter and vigilance. <laughs> Theater of Horrors. Rakdos? Yep. Look at some, that crazy guy on there. They got some great artwork on the uh, tokens this time around. Mass manipulation. Oh boy. Four blue <laughs> oh, and man. two X. Gain control of X target creatures and or planeswalkers. So very yeah. limited use on that one, but if you can... That'd be good against that stupid friends do it. deck, though, that one of our <laughs> friends has with, like, what? How many planeswalkers does she have in that damn thing? I don't know. Well, that's the point of a super friends deck. No, it's terrible, though. Lavinia, Azorius Renegade. Okay. Another legendary. I'm actually going to put this in one of my commander decks. Because I play against a guy who plays Joyra of the Gitu. And whenever an opponent casts a spell, if no mana was spent to cast it, counter that spell. Basically makes her worthless. <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of sphinxes in the set. Growth Chamber Guardian. Hmm. That's interesting. And a foil in common. Macabre Mockery. Foiling's interesting on that one. Right, we're down to our last five here. Some demons in there. Kaya's Wrath. Ooh. <laughs> Destroy all creatures. You gain life equal to the number of creatures you controlled that were destroyed this way. That's a nice board wave. And because it's an Orzov, you could potentially have a bunch of creatures with afterlife if you destroyed all your own. And they come back as spirit tokens, and then you gain life. That would be pretty sweet. Which one do you want me to pick? We're down to the last four. I don't know. 
Do Domri last. The one on your left. Okay. A little angry. The jester looking guy here is kind of creepy. Yes. Shockland. Whee! All right. Domri, Chaos Bringer. I think this is my favorite Planeswalker out of the set. So it's green, red, and two. It comes into play with five. So he's a four cost that comes into play with five. His plus one is get a green or red mana, and if you spend that on a creature, the creature gains Riot. Uh, minus three, look at the top four cards of your library. You may put up to two creatures from among them into your hand, put the rest on the bottom. Minus eight, you get an emblem that at the beginning of each end step, create a four, four red and green beast creature with trample. Here's the emblem for him. Uh, treasure. <laughs> treasure tokens. Yeah, um, and we have a foil Rakdos guilt gate. Ooh. Is that our, that should be our four mythics, right? Um, I don't know how many we've gotten already. A little bit. One. Rick's Mahdi Reveler. Oh. Spectacle, that must be a new one. At least I don't remember it. Yep, we've gotten four mythics so far. Right, so that's probably it. Oh, this is one of the going back to the reveler. Normally spectacle is a lesser cost. It's like if your opponent loses life, you can pay the spectacle instead. This one is a higher cost, but if you pay the spectacle, um discard your hand and draw three cards, rather than discarding a card and drawing a card. And another legendary creature is a Ghana Utopian Speaker. Hmm. She's really good for limited as well. Leandra's Battlefield, if you control another creature with 1-1 counter on it, draw a card. You can adapt her for 4. And each creature you control with a 1-1 counter on it has Trample. Alright, and final pack. Priest of Forgotten Gods. We okay. did not, not get our sacrifice two shock lands, but sacrifice two other creatures. Any number of target players each lose two life and sacrifice a creature. You had two black and draw a card. That could, that could be really good, especially an Orzov deck with afterlife stuff. Mm. That could be amazing. All right, so let's uh, pause it up and see what we got. All right, so we scanned the TCG player app, and we did pretty good. One hundred and twenty bucks which is basically exactly what I paid for it at my local game store. That includes the buy a box promo, which is going for 10 bucks right now. We got 21 out of the 38 rares and myth mythics were worth more than 250, which is pretty crazy. So more than half of the rares and mythics were above the se what I would consider sellable. So, it's pretty pretty good set, and there's actually a bunch of stuff in here I'm going to use. So, I like this set a lot so far. Yeah, it's, I think it's better than the last get Ravnica we opened. Wish we could have got a, another Planeswalker, but in the next episode, we open a box of Guilds of Ravnica. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> Until then, say bye, honeybee. Bye, honeybee. Those are some killer bees.